that's something that we really need to say here. That's number one is, is there such a thing as consciousness? And, and you have some reservations about that, but you're kind of willing to go along. I'll play the game. Step number two is, where does it come from? And uh, most of us here, we believe that brains produce consciousness. All right. Now, the question is, at what level? And, and where are we going to emphasize our searches? And we can look at the subcellular level, at the cytoskeleton, the microtubules. We could look at the cellular level. Some people think that there's some cells which are conscious and other cells are not conscious or have the capacity for it. You can look at the circuit level. That's what I happen to be interested. I happen to believe that consciousness emerges at the circuit level. Or you could do like some people who think you have to have big, oh, great yeah. systems that before you have consciousness. And there are some people who think, though, you have to have the whole brain. And, and only whole brains can be conscious. And now, some people think, think that you need more than the brain. Yeah, <laughs> some people don't want to use the word consciousness unless you have the, a brain interacting with a lot of other brains. I don't, I'm not very happy with that because but, I think that a totally isolated individual, a cat or a dog that never saw another cat or dog can experience pain but and for, hunger first and of all, thirst. Don't we find this to be absolutely fascinating that they, we go from one level of the subcellular to cellular to, to, to systems of neurons, to connections, to brain systems, to whole brains, to beyond. Is that the state of play today? Well, you started too high. Proto-consciousness, something from which consciousness is derived, is fundamental and irreducible, a component of the universe that's been there all along, something like spin or charge or, or mass. It's down there probably at the most basic uh, fundamental level of space-time geometry. And it's probably been there since the Big Bang. Okay, that is a mystical statement that's totally untestable. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's just... Christoph, nothing it's so far is testable it's, about it's consciousness. Un, it's untestable. No, there are lots of experiments uh, you can do in mice, you can do in monkeys, you can do in humans. That's what progress is. Progress is not at all these fundamental... So, I mean, I think, for the record, the experimental program mo many people are doing now is to avoid all these philosophical arguments because otherwise we will be sitting here in 100 years from now having the same and just focus on where in the brain are the correlates for certain con you oh, know, the correlates. emotions. So you're going to give up on consciousness and just worry about correlates. For, for the foreseeable future, because we have not made any progress as philosophers, thinkers, scientists have not made their progress well, in identifying... because you're tunnel vision. You're just looking po in one direction. Okay. You're looking under the lamppost for your keys because that's where the okay, light Okay, possible. But, but where we will undoubtedly make progress, if you look at the spectacular progress in, in molecular science and neuroscience, so if we just focus for now, you know, for the next, let's say, 10 or 20 years, most of us will focus, uh, you know, that's where the funding is, that's where the interest ideas are, that's where the experiments are, we'll focus on the experimental approachable part, namely where the college of specific conscious perception acts, thoughts, and memories. 